Here. So this is our botanical garden, but it doesn't only has like uh, medicinal plants. It also has these different types of vegetables that mm -hmm. are used in their households. So we teach them how to make kitchen gardens, yep. techniques of farming. Yes. Yeah. We have different insects, different um, different kinds of micro animals, mm -hmm. the small ones and the big ones. This is like preserving also a place for them because they also need a home. Mm -hmm. This planet, this planet Earth, we have to share it with all the creatures around. It's not just for yeah, us. Because sometimes you take out a plant which was a home for a certain animal. Mm -hmm. And that's not conservation, so mm -hmm. we keep some of them. We do take some weed out, but not all of them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some weeds are considered as protective right, to okay. the roots of the plants. Okay. So that when rain comes in, they don't, it doesn't take away all those plants because their roots are not strong. Mm -hmm. So they are plants like cassava, okay. security plants, food security plants. So it's like balancing. Balancing it, yeah. yeah. This garden is a very big, reliable source of, um, source of medication. And it helps out even those who don't have these gardens because in the community we share. Mm -hmm. So if they have a neighbor and she needs a specific type of medicinal plant in here, she comes in the morning, knocks and she'll be like, can you tell me where this certain plant is located? They go there, they take it, they cure their families because it's a source of life. It's a life-saving yes. medicinal yes. garden. The plants that are outside of that kind of rainforest area, are they more uh, agricultural crops and things like that or what are you planting there? So this was very interesting for me uh, when I visited a medicinal garden and they can't get to a hospital or they can't afford to get to a hospital so they're really quite reliant on this. So this section here has got quite a few medicinal plants in and then we have of course all these different um, plants here that humans would use, so eucalyptus here for firewood, um, for um, construction, all sorts of things. So it grows very quickly, they're composite, it grows back really quickly. Mm -hmm. So eucalyptus, and of course bananas were absolutely everywhere for food sources and of course the banana beer. Um, but it goes to show how people use absolutely everything. The front area of the garden, which is farmed by humans, has got some biodiversity running through, probably more the medicinal zone. But once you hop over the boundary into the protected forest area, that's when the biodiversity really pops up. That area supports a huge amount of wildlife, and it's not just gorillas we're talking about. Um, so by protecting that particular forest area, the biodiversity within it is, has shot up over the past 10, 15 years or so. And that's obtained by leaving things alone to do their own thing, not chopping down huge trees that have taken hundreds of years to grow. That whole delicate biodiversity system on an ancient tree is, is virtually impossible to replace. We're trying to include as many different kinds of plants within the garden as possible, because the more diverse your plants are, the better diversity you will get in your garden. And that's throughout everywhere, not just Africa, Anybody can do that in their own garden. Mm -hmm.